Hello again, it's Robert Earl at the Eco Ranch, and today we're going to do something I call paying the water bill. Now, paying the water bill, most people, they write a check once a month. Well, we don't have a water company here, we don't have water and sewer, I've got to do my own, so paying the water bill for me means loading up the pump, the water tank the hoses and my gas can that you can't see back there and taking it down uh, to Terlingua Creek which is just yonder now yonder is Texas talk for over there but watch out if you're talking to a Texan over there might be El Paso but it's just a short distance away go to the creek pump up fill this thing up pump it into my big tanks and repeat it until as I've said on, on a comment earlier um, until either I'm exhausted or the tanks are full when you write that check, though, the last time I had a water bill was in 02, and my water bill, we had a swimming pool, we were living near Fort Lauderdale, Florida at the time, and I think my water bill ran about $120 a month. Uh, you know, nowadays, if you figure people making $10, $12 an hour, which unfortunately a lot of people do, I know a lot of you make more, but a lot of you make that, um, you know, you're making... 100 120 $130 a day, so it's roughly, you know, if your water bill's 120 bucks. A month you roughly uh, work a day to pay your water bill well it takes me a whole day to pay my water bill but I get 6,000 gallons of water out of it um, we ordinarily would average a thousand gallons um, a month here a thousand gallons a month six months supply of water so I would have to do it once every six months well because we have the hogs and because we have chickens um, we go through water a little faster than that. I would say we probably burn 15, 1800 gallons of water a month here. So I need more capacity, which we're working on. You'll see that in future videos. And I do have to make more trips to the creek. And I have to pray for water, pray for rain. And nobody hears those prayers because I live in the desert. So we're going to go down the creek. I'll show you the creek. Then I'll show you the pumping the water into the tank. And. All right, I'm going to talk loud because I don't know how well you can hear me. This thing's still on the tripod, and um, where am I? There we go. Thing's still on the tripod, uh, and it's hard to see in the sunlight, but there's the pump down in the creek. It's uh, sucking water up and pumping it through the hose up here to my water tank. And like I say, it's fill, dump, repeat until it's done. This is beautiful Terlingua Creek, and I am on the edge of our road right here. It goes through there, but during the rainy season, it washes out, and we have a homeowners association here that repairs the roads and keeps them up. Um, they won't come through here, and I don't want them to come through here and repair this because it'll just wash out again. So I don't have an easy way out for about four months out of the year. The, uh, for those four, I've got to take the long way, which is a little bumpy. Uh, it's not a big deal, but this is my road out. You'll see the creek is running a little bit because of all the rain we've had, and you also see that it's muddy. Uh, anybody else say, and somebody's gonna say it's muddy, so I might as well tell you. Yeah, the creek is muddy. Uh, it's a silty, it's a little bit of silt, it's what, um, it's that oxymoron, clean mud. And after five years of, of uh, putting it in one of the tanks, I have less than 3 16ths of an inch of sediment in the bottom of that tank. So it is cleaner than it looks. It looks nasty, but it's cleaner than it looks. There are pumps and there's things we do to filter this water so that it's perfectly safe for drinking. And if somebody's still going, ick, ook, ock, uh, just go read some of the propaganda that the bottled water people tell you about the water in your taps and maybe you won't go ick ook uck so much. Well, we're back at the house. The tank is full. The hose is all hooked up. The hose runs on through here to uh, something that, that I'm sure other people are doing it. I've not seen it. Something I came up with. Right there is a swimming pool pump. And the swimming pool pump's going to take the water from the, uh, of the tank in the truck and pump it up into this tank here. I've got, you noticed I had two tanks. Uh, the water only goes into one because down low here I have uh, the, two, the two tanks connected. Well, folks, here's a lesson for us all. It wasn't my intention today, but I have everything set up to pay the water bill, but we have a problem. My swimming pool pump is burned out. It won't work. 
Um, and the lesson to us all is, well, there's two lessons if you're going to try to live this way. Whenever you can, buy two of anything like this that you depend on. Now, I did buy two of these, and the one arrived broken, and when I contacted the seller who happened to be, this is a surprise, in Guangzhou, China, um, I got no response, and I did get my money back from eBay, but I still have the damn pump, and it's still broken, and it doesn't work. This pump has been abused for about two years. It sat out here on this cinder block in the rain, and it really gets wet. Um, and it was due to die. It's been giving me a little bit of trouble. Uh, so the lesson is buy two of everything. And the other lesson is when you have to do something important like get water that you depend on to, for life, don't wait until you're out of water. Luckily, I have 1,500 gallons of water left. That'll last us for quite a while. The new pump that I ordered, which is a clone to this one, um, but it's, it's sold at, uh, by an American seller who will back it um, and replace it if there's a problem. Um, the clone will be here four, five, six days, five days probably, I would think. And uh, we'll pay the water bill again. But at least you got to see how we do it down there. And um, like I say, it was a surprise. But um, uh, I said from the very beginning, I'm not going to edit things. I'm not going to edit out mistakes or problems. I'm going to show you what, what life's like. And... <sighs> Some days it sucks because it's difficult for me to get all that stuff down to the creek and all that stuff back out, and i got to stomp on through the water. And at 61, it's a little rugged sometimes. So um, at any rate, that's the story of the water. I, I hope you got something from it. At least you got to see, if it works right, how I would get water. Bye for now.